On today's episode, our VP Brock Commodore race car gets a new rear end. Well, also, Fred Jr., back from your lap of the gods at Wakefield Park. How are you feeling? Oh, I don't know about lap of the gods, but uh, it was a good time down oh. at the old Wakefield Park down in Goulburn and uh, gave us a lot of motivation to come back and work on this little track car. Oh. So, here we go. We've got new varnish, new retail lights. So, let's get into it. Let's do it. So, Fred Jr., why are we putting new tail lights and a garnish in this? Beautiful mint condition VP. What to tell us? What's your rationale here? Well, when we bought it, we uh, we did get told that uh, there was a little bit of a an incident on the rear, and oh. as you can see, there's an, a not so nice hole there. No. So I, I knew immediately we we're gonna have to get onto that. Also, a keen that, eye. Also, Fred Junior, a keen eye, as you're saying, they do not look standard. Look at the colour of them. They didn't come out from the General's factory looking like that. A keen eye would notice that. On the left hand side here, it's red at the top and bottom, and on this side, it's like a sort of smoky sort of black, so mm. that's, it's not ideal, no. but piece de resistance of all of this is on this side, if you, if you go around here, we're actually uh Well, first time we're just inspecting that big nunger in the side here, which... Well, that, that's also a problem. It could have been grandma's trolley, or you, you wouldn't know. It could have been hit down the side of the trolley. Yeah, yep. Woolworths, who knows? Right. Well, let's have a look on... You're going to tell me of something else on this side. Oh, yes. On this side, it's actually missing a couple of the bolts. Oh. So that, that tells me that it's... Uh, someone's gone, oh, let's just slap it on. and Well, mm. you've missed a couple of the bolts. But oh, well, it'll be rectified today. Right. Okay. So the first step is you're going to pull these lights out. Yep. And Father Christmas has obviously got you nice, brand new... Well, new old stock tail lights, so that'll be good. And I understand that uh, you can't buy the new old garnishes, so... No. And we've tried to restore that one and, well, it's... Well, it's also not... Not the, original. <laughs> not original, this is from the Calais model. Right. So, that's even more of a clue that maybe it was in a bit of a rear ender. I reckon old mate has had the rear ender, or either that or the previous owner, slapped in the only tail light they could find, slapped in that one and haven't put it back together, <clears throat> and then maybe they probably had as much trouble as we did trying to find a, a Bellina or an executive garnish and they've gone with um, this Calais one, so... No, oh, good, but be rectified today. Let's get there. Let's do it. So, Fred Jr., it's the 23rd of uh, December. Rudolph isn't quite here yet, but you've got the presents. Well, Christmas has come early. Now, these are... We have left and right side. These are what you call new old, which Ooh. means they haven't actually been on the car. They've been sitting in storage for... 28 years, I think. Right. Which is quite a long time. Oh. And, um, well now, now we've got them, we've managed to, to sneak them in, and here we are. So, sitting in storage, it's about to go on the car. Also, what did Fred manage to find? He managed to find, you can't actually get the, the garnishes are uh, new old, so we've managed to find one off a wrecking VP that is in about as good a nick as you'll see. It Ooh. obviously just needs a quick touch-up, but, oh. I mean, for not being able to get new old, that is pretty close. Oh, my God. So... And there'll be a big mobile one sort of emblem just right there. Fred Junior will cover all that up, but... That that must have been only driven on a Sunday, that one. Jeez. Yeah, this one is... It. Like, you got you got to remember these things are 28 years old, so... Oh. Pretty good nick for that age. Very good. All right. Well, let's watch you pull on the old ones out, and uh, let's get to it. So... As we said, we're going to start on, on the side that was a bit doddly done. So we're just going to unclip this little guy first. And then, these are just finger tight. They're not actually... They just require me to give them a little twirl. And the, the nuts are just coming off just like that. Oh, jeez. And that, that's for all of them. Oh. So, like, I haven't even gone to it with the tools yet. And this is a... Oh. What can you do? No. Oh, I'll let you keep going. Well, all three have come out now, all three of the nuts that were, uh, you know, there, and just like that, 
Oh. She comes straight out with the ding and everything. You you love to see it, really. Right, we'll, we'll put so that up in the... Where's this going? In the bin. Possibly in the bin, but maybe even to one of our subscribers, Zach, because, well, we might even keep that as a very drastic spare, because they aren't making any more of them. Oh, so for a junior, how are you going there with the garnish? There might be a bit of glue on the inside, that I'll give you a hand getting that up. So there's about, I don't know, about eight of those little eight mils holding in. Yeah. Have you got all them out? Yeah, they're all gone. Okay. I might need to... Oh, there you go. And just pop on that side. Go that side. Hey, we got it, Virginia. And I think it's still connected to a cable here. Which, let's have a look. And I'm going to need two hands to undo that, Fred Jr. Hold on. Well, so this last bit of the garnish is good fun, Fred Jr. You got your little uh, number plate illuminators oh, there. They just absolutely ruin everyone's day, but... You poke that back through there. All right, have you got the technique there, Fred Jr.? Yes, well, he's... It's the shroud. Oh! And goodbye. Goodbye, to Irene. Goodbye, Mr. Calais. Yes. Garnish. No good. In the bin. Okay, Fred Junior. So when you're working with new old parts here and cars that are, you know, nearing on 30 years, nothing's easy. Here's our old garnish. And you can see from our studs, we had two there. That was good. We had one around the number plates around. We're missing uh, that one. We've got those two. And then we're missing that one. But we had the top one. So it's a wonder this thing was hanging on at all, just quietly. Anyway, here's our new old one. We'll have two left studs, we've got one in the middle, we're missing three, and we've got our two at the end. So, the good news is we can borrow Peter to pay Paul, so let's pull these little studs out, because we need all three of those to go on our new one. Let's do it. Now, I'm, a, I'm not no expert on these old cars, but upon closer inspection, they have a table here, and as you can see, the months, you know, January, February, so on, 91, 92, 93, and then, like, sort of, braille, sort of, brails as to indicate something, maybe, bill, so, but that's the one that was on the, that was the original one, so this one is saying something about, you know, well, I don't think VP, VP's come out in 91, so that, I maybe think this, this is, is a, off a of VN, maybe, and then, over on this one, all of the, the tables are the same, but all the dots line up with, End of 91, start of 92, so... Hmm. I don't know, know, know what that means, but no. it's an interesting find, nonetheless. Well, so. let's ask people in the comments to tell us what they think. Yeah, well, I don't know if anyone knows. I think there's a few people on the Watch This Channel, Fred Jr., that are more knowledgeable about Holdens than you and me, so let's well, wait and see. Right. Okay, Fred Jr., so let's go the passenger side rear on first. Well, 20-something rather years old. Beautiful and fresh. There yeah. we go. Are you going to use fresh? Just going to use fresh nuts and bolts, you know. Right. Well. No worries, let's do that and then we'll save, we'll reuse the other ones for the back of the garnish, I think. Yeah. Right, yeah. let's do it. Well, for a junior, they look the business. Look at them. Having fun there? Oh, yes, hello. All right, for a junior, so our rear tail lights are in. They're all nice and neat and always, you know, don't over tighten them, they're just plastic. Um, and you want to, there's a little bit of movement there too, so you want to make sure that all your um, your panel gaps and stuff are even on both sides. Then when you put your garnish on, um, got all your locating lugs there in, and then you've got four around the, no, um, the number plates around as well. So we were missing some of ours, so obviously we've um, we've got one in there, we're gonna, we're just gonna put nuts on those, locate them, and then put our replacement ones in. And we're not running the um, number plate illumination, it's gonna be a race car. That's just going to say mobile one anyway, and we're not going to be racing at night so people know what sort of uh, oil we use, so that's all good. Apart from that, Fred Junior, we're getting very close to um, buffing this, cleaning it all off, getting all the dust ready, and showing everyone a montage. Let's do it. All right, Fred Junior, so it's all assembled here. So the last step is a bit of the old plastic polish. So um, normally we use a lot of Bowden's products, they don't actually have a plastic polish. So we've got this old mate Meguiar's Plastic X. Perfect for tail lights, headlights, and um, all sorts of high beam activities. So what we're going to do is put a bit of this on the old um, sponge, and then we're going to get old mate Lambert and get him on there and polish away. Let's get there.
All right, Fred Jr., so Merry Christmas. And uh, young Banjo Jr. says Merry Christmas too. He's a little second generation Cavoodle. He's a new star on the channel. Hello, Banjo. And uh, he loves his rock Commodores, and uh, so do we. So, Fred Jr., I'm pretty happy with that. I reckon that looks pretty good. And over to you for the montage. Let's go. is done thanks for watching the video next time we'll be finishing off that interior and then we'll be ready to send it off for fab right, don't do it for Dale do it for Rocky catch you later